Hi Creative Humans and welcome back to a new tutorial. With this video I want to start a series about tools for VJs who want to start creating their own visuals. And I want to share tools that I've created for myself and that I find particularly useful when creating visuals, especially for the purpose of VJing. I had to start with the loop on timeline, which is probably the most used component and also has been requested by a couple of you under my tutorials and I need to thank you for that. It's really appreciated and I'm really happy to finally satisfy this request. Just a little disclaimer before starting out, the component we are going to create is something that I learned from other people. I need to mention that I've seen this technique or really similar ones from Polyop and also from Paolea and probably some other artists that I'm forgetting to mention. All of them are super talented and you probably already know them. So this technique is probably something you already seen around. But since a couple of people asked me, I decided to do a really short tutorial showing this thing that is still probably useful for some people. Okay, so this one is the component we are going to create today. We have two custom parameters we can set, the type of pattern and the range. And the particular thing here is that the value of the range is always going to oscillate according to the timeline, letting us create perfect loops. Okay, first of all, we need to add a timeline. Oh, oops, I passed it. Okay, adding a timeline. And here we need to have the frame enable, which is the current frame and should be already there. And also adding the end frame, which is always going to be the end frame you can see at the bottom part of your screen. Then after that, we are adding a math. And in the math, we want to combine channels, dividing them. In this way, we are retaining a value that is going from zero to one, according to the point in the timeline we are with the current frame sort of a percentage of our timeline passing. Then we add a pattern and a lookup. This allows us to pass through the pattern, so phasing through it according to the timeline. And this is the component that allows us to loop through our timeline. So whatever the values, like here I'm putting a 360 output, that is a value you are often going to use for rotations, to loop rotations. You can see that these values, so from 0 to 360, are passing according to the timeline. So we are starting from 0 at the start of the timeline and we are finishing with, three, with 360, whatever the length. Here I'm creating a, I want to create a base component and I want to put out some custom parameters so it's easier and more convenient for me to use the same component in the future. So I'm linking as a master parameter the type of pattern and the output range. So these are the two parameters you're gonna use the most so you can shift between all the type of parameter if you want a ramp, if you want sign and I'm renaming it so I can in future find it more easily in my custom components and also obviously the range. Pay attention that for sine and cosine type of pattern, just those two, inside you will see that they are uh, mapped from range 0 to 1, which is fine for all the other type of pattern, but since sine and cosine has also negative values, if you change the output values as we are doing, then you need to remap the input range with the negative one starting. Otherwise, you will see if we have just 0 to 1 and then we have our output range 0 to 10, you will see that we obtain also from negative 10 to 10 positive, which is something maybe we don't want or we need to have con control for it. Here we are doing it manually, but you can write a really easy Python script to do it automatically for you. If you want to see how you can do it, just tell me in the comments and I will do it. A really quick tutorial for that too. So here you have some examples of loops I've created where I use this technique. Here for example I used, I used it to map the instance in rotation or here we have two different examples of virals. So I'm using it in a ramp from 0 to 360 to control the rotations or also here I'm controlling the phase of all these little ramps with the loop on timeline. So these are just a few examples of visuals where you can use these custom components we just created to obtain perfect loops for your visuals. That's all for today. I hope this was useful for some of you, for the people who already asked me how to loop visuals in Touch Designer. Bye!